Well, hello, 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 hello. Hi, everybody. So, hey there. So, my name is Linda Murray Bullock. They call me the business plug. And welcome to this week's business plugs mixer. Our guest just arrived, so I'm going to let her in and we'll start the conversation. When we get to that, uh, before we start, I want to introduce you to what we're doing this week in the LSMB camp. So today we are actually, uh, we have open enrollment. If you are a startup and you want to have your business up and running, then I have a 12 week, a 12 week business course. It's called Building Your Own Business. It's been very successful. I have one more week with the current class on October the 3rd, I'm starting a brand new class of startups who want to get business acumen. So it teaches you an overview of business. You do not need a degree. You do not have ever had a business class before. I break it down into snackable sizes, the information, so you're able to implement very quickly and get your business up and running. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to put a link in here. And then on Wednesday, Wednesday, I mean, excuse me, not Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday is seven o'clock Eastern. I will be doing the business plugs. Um, we have a webinar. The webinar is to give you five actionable steps that you can use immediately in order to start your business. So for startups, this is your month. <laughs> September is your month. And while I'm here, I need to introduce you to Ty Goodwin, our guest. Hey, Ty. Hey, hey how are you? Yeah, I'm so excited to be here. Well, good, good. I, I have been I have been preaching your your praises all day, telling people we're gonna have the quiz queen on this evening, yes. teaching them how to do business a little different because a lot of business don't even understand that they can use quizzes to mm -hmm. scale and grow their businesses. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So if you are anywhere in the audience, y'all give, they're giving you love, Ty, they're giving Aww. you love already. <laughs> so, <laughs> Please introduce yourself to my audience and tell them a little bit about Ty. Yeah, well, thank you so much for having me here. I'm super excited. My name is Ty Goodwin. I am the CEO of the Momentum Agency, and we're a done-for-you marketing agency, and we also have some done-with-you stuff, but our claim to fame is we help our clients who are e-commerce brands, service-based entrepreneurs, high-end coaches, and even authors and speakers, we help them turn their annual list into multiple five-figure paydays using online quiz funnels and it is so much fun i've been online since 2000 and i remember because we were all scared of y2k back in 1999 yeah i remember that <laughs> I've been online you know since then building businesses coaching um and doing some strategy and consulting around social media and i love being my own boss i love marketing and geek out over the technology but most of all i love getting to help my clients generate more leads Absolutely. Absolutely. And so that's a whole different process. So if you are an entrepreneur, hey there, Dr. Dietrich, if you are a, an entrepreneur, go ahead and, and put your name in the con in the comments and put where you're from. If you're on Facebook, we'll see that you're on Facebook. If you're on LinkedIn, we'll see that you're on LinkedIn. But if you are an entrepreneur, at either the beginning, the middle, or the ending phase, wherever you are in entrepreneurship. Like, does this sound like something you guys can use? Because what I learned is a lot of people don't even know it's an option. Like, no. they don't know that you can use quizzes the way that you teach us how to use quizzes. That's true. That's true. So, yeah. So, so tell them about the process. What does that look like? So, uh, most people understand that they need to have a lead magnet or an opt-in offer. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people just go with a traditional PDF or webinar, and those are fine things to do. However, the beauty of using a quiz is that it converts twice as better, twice as good, twice as better. I don't know how to say it, right? <laughs> as much as a traditional lead magnet. So what wow. that means is if you've got a PDF or a download, you can expect for every 100 people that um, go to your page, you can expect maybe 15 to 20 people to actually opt in and give you their wow. email address. But with the quiz, what we've been seeing is 30 and up to 50 percent of the people opt in. That's, so good. that's huge. So instead of just having a download, you have a quiz, which is not a survey. 
That's really important for folks to get because I've seen people say, well, I'm going to create a, a, a quiz and then what they actually have is a survey. Yeah. If you want me to explain more about that, I'm glad to, but a survey is not a quiz, but your quiz is just a series of questions that you ask your audience and you give them a result at the end. And in order for them to get that result, they have to give you their email address. See, okay. And so, so while you, while you mentioned it, that is different from a, from a survey. So what are the differences for my audience who may not know that there's a difference? Yeah. So the main difference is that a survey asks me information that I already know about myself. Uh -huh. right? How old are you? What country do you live in? You know, do you have children? What kind of car do you drive? Like I know all of that information about myself. You're not telling me anything new. Right. And when people give you survey results, it's just the demographics or, you know, this right. how many people are in this age group. The beauty of a quiz is that you're asking me questions that I have to really think and like, oh, wow, like, am I really that way? Or is this more how I am? And you get to compare. And so at the end of a quiz, you're giving me new insight that I did not know before. Ah, good stuff. That's good stuff. Yeah. Not only are you using that, but then so as a business owner that's implementing that, right, because that's from the user end, the user is actually getting a takeaway something yeah. different they can learn about themselves but mm -hmm. then you as a business owner can extrapolate that information and use it in your marketing because you're learning something about your clients that and i love it because if you just have like a, a pdf or download it's one-sided right exactly. so I the email address exactly and we, what we like to say is that would you get married to somebody based on an email address? And hopefully, no. <laughs> so you, want more, you want more data. You want more information. Absolutely. It gives you more information so that you can, what we say is you can get the right content and the right offers to the right people at the right time. Yes. Yes. That's good stuff. And that is powerful because a lot of people are out here in the streets marketing to everybody. Right. They're just throwing information out there, making paying money for ads, mm -hmm. doing a lot of spending marketing to get people to know their businesses. And this way they can actually learn something about their clients and customers. And then they can actually niche down and use their marketing materials to market to those people who are already looking for them. Absolutely. And that's another one of the benefits of quizzes is that it really helps you cut down on your ad spend. So when I started this whole journey with quizzes, now I actually created my first quiz in 2015, but okay. I really leveraged the power of it last year. And so over three months, I spent about $3,600 in ads. And that's not a lot. Right. It's right. It's right. Really right. By, by comparison, that's not a lot. Right. Yeah. And um, I ended up adding about 10,000 people to my email list. Okay. And I ended up also turning it into thirty one thousand dollars. Okay. So imagine, you know, you spent thirty six hundred dollars and it booked you thirty one thousand dollars in business. Ten Xing. Right. Yeah. So that's Absolutely. when I really started to understand the power of I'm like, okay, wait a minute. There's some there's some teeth to this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I love that. And so talk about your history because you have a a, a, a very uh diverse history, work history before yeah. you started to do your own thing. Yeah, well, you know, my background is in uh, as a teacher, right? So I taught school and then I went on to do corporate training. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in um, education and a master's degree in instructional design. So when I even started out with my, you know, own business and doing things online, I was doing everything from social media to teaching people how to build courses and creating courses for folks. Um, and then what I realized is that my clients, they need implementation more than anything. Absolutely. So, you know, my first business, my first business venture, and I would say this all the time that I was Facebook rich and profit poor. All right. Because I do what a lot of people do. Like people like me on Facebook, so they should buy my stuff. Don't work. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work. And um, I went um, back to a job. Um, I ended up working at Lead Pages, and there I was the person that did all their training for their technical support team for their Lead Page platform and for their drip email marketing platform. That is good stuff. That yeah. is good stuff. And so it, that helped me, it helped me fall in love with the marketing tech side of things. Absolutely. And lead page is one of the leading industries, mm -hmm. I mean, the one of the leaders in the industry mm -hmm. for, for doing lead magnets, for setting up web pages, for mm -hmm. learning how to market to your to your clients. And yeah. you work there. So you have the behind the curtain information that yeah. you can add to the whole experience. Absolutely. I was there for about two and a half years and I really uh -huh. got to understand not just lead pages, but all the tools that it integrates with. So you get to see behind the scenes. Absolutely. And it really helped me develop um, an understanding and a soft side for my clients who were trying to figure out 
what tool do I use? Because there's so many tools out there and everybody will throw you a tool. And I always say, if somebody doesn't really help you figure out what your business model is and where you want to go before they give you a tool, you should run in the opposite direction. <laughs> exactly. Because what happens is what happens is like, like I've, I've been talking to people about Facebook ads and I know that's your, one of your specialties. Mm -hmm. and, and I've been talking to them because I'm trying to get them to understand that it doesn't take a lot of money to use social media ad work. Like, like you can use the things, but you need to know how to use it strategically. Yeah. And so a quiz adds on to being very strategic in how you're putting your, your dollars and cents out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like it, you know, people like quizzes, they share the quizzes out, you know, with their audience, and that was one of the things that we experienced. So, um, we had on a so the quiz that we did was called What Type of Entrepreneur Are You? Yeah, and we had over 340 people that shared that quiz with their networks, you know, so you know, that alone. You know, spoke value, you know, to us because Absolutely. we didn't have to pay for. But then, even with adding a Facebook ad and using some special techniques um, to, you know, help Facebook find our audience, because that's one of the hardest things. And I see a lot of people waste money because they don't know how to test an audience and they don't know how to choose an audience. And so, Absolutely. you know, they end up wasting time and money. Absolutely. And you can waste a lot of time and money yeah. when you don't know what you're doing. Like a lot of people think, oh, it's just easy. I'll just go out and I'll just put some words together and I'll pay Facebook and Facebook will take it to the world. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they don't understand about niching down, about target marketing, because if you're not niching, if you're marketing, I always say, if you're marketing to everyone, you're marketing to no one. Because the, the, the numbers talk, right? And the number says that 18 to 22% are the only population that even want to know who you are. The rest of it, that 80 something percent of people don't even want to hear it. And, mm -hmm. and they're passing over your, your ad spend. You're like spending yeah. money that you shouldn't spend to them because they don't want to hear it anyway. Yeah, that is absolutely. You really have to test them too. Like I see people do this all the time. They put all of their eggs in one basket. They create one ad, one you know block of text, one call to action, and they put it out to everybody. And then they're wondering why it doesn't perform. When we help people with ads, because we help them with ads to drive traffic to their quiz, you know, we're testing the image, we're testing the copy, we're testing the audiences because all audiences are not created equal. So absolutely. you really have to do your due diligence and test and. And what I find is a lot of people are looking for a quick band-aid, mm. right? Like I put it out there on Facebook today, tomorrow I'm going to make six figures. And those of us who have been around and have been in business and have really, you know, gotten to a really good place in our businesses, we understand that it is a long-term game. It is a long-term game. It yeah. is a journey. It's a journey, not a destination. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they think it's going to be, I'm going to spend $5 on, on Facebook ads and tomorrow I'll make six figures. And that's simply not how it works. It's not like, how it works. I mean, if it did, everybody would be a millionaire. Absolutely. absolutely. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Twice over. And that's the thing. So working with you, like working with you and under you, not only do you help them to understand, because you have a Facebook page that is, I mean, you have a group. Yes. And, and what's the name of your group? So the group is Funnels Done Right. Funnels done right. See, that's very simple. So funnels done right is actually going to teach you some of the back things. So when you when you're ready to purchase, you already have some level of education about how the whole process works. I love that that uh, our friend Ryan and you go come on and you all do education. You know, I've had to, I've witnessed some of the training that you all. I mean, putting everything out there. You know, everything that people need to understand about ads, need to understand about their business and how ads and their business can compl be complemented by one another. It's just understanding the part that most business owners don't come with. This is not a lot of people go by their intuition. They say, well, my intuition tells me I need to do this over here or my intuition tells me I need to do that over there. I'm not saying that intuition doesn't work when you have a family like your kids, your husband, your wife. I'm not saying intuition doesn't work there because you have a physical connection, a personal connection with these people. You don't have a connection with your business. Your business is an idea. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn some things about your business. And so that's what you all do in that group. 
Mm -hmm. Funnels done right is you're teaching people to learn things about their business. So that way, the connection is not in intuitive. The connection is actually based on hard data. Yeah. yeah. Which makes it work. Yeah, we always well, one of the things that I always say is that, you know, when people go into a business and they're leveraging their expertise, yes. and, you know, solving a problem and monetizing it, it's not their fault if they struggle with marketing because a lot of folks have never learned how to market. And you you don't just show up one day and know how to market your stuff. Absolutely. You know, there's a learning curve. There's a learning process. There's things that you want to understand. And so my background is in education. And so, yes, I love teaching. But I also know that one of the hardest things with information is getting people to implement it. And Absolutely. so that's exactly why I created my agency, because we do the done with you where we yeah. will implement it with you. And then we have a done for you. And a lot of my clients are like, listen, I want to be a boss in my business. Right. <laughs> You know, I know what I need to know. I just don't have the space to do it. And you're the expert. So we're going to turn it over to you. And, and so, that's a, yeah. That, yeah, and that's a part of it, though. That's a part of it is 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 having a team of experts like yourself. Like I talk mm -hmm. all the time about getting a business coach, but people get a business coach and think the business coach is supposed to know everything, the marketing, the sales, the, the law, the, the all of that. And I'm saying as a as a true business player if you're trying to be a boss in your business you need to find an expert in all your niches like you need to understand you need a marketing expert. you need a business coach you need a legal person you know be an attorney or somebody of legal uh, acumen you need somebody who understands your finances your numbers like all of these different segments like they go to when you think about a corporation corporation has all these departments yeah you don't need a yeah. department but you do need representation on all these different on all these different levels. And a lot of people are out here doing it all by themselves because they feel like they have to do it by themselves. They don't understand that allowing you to be in your genius actually allows them to be in theirs. That's true. That is true. My mindset comes from this whole idea that I'm going to be my own boss. And when you say that, and a lot of us say that, right, I'm going to be my own boss. But that means you're working a job. <laughs> Yeah, right. You just replace the job with a job. Yeah, you can, have a, listen, you can have a dead end business. It's like you can have a dead end job. Absolutely. Right? Because Absolutely. If you're having a dead end business or you're your own boss. What that means is, is that you're still working for somebody instead of being the boss in your business and having a team. And it's hard to make that adjustment. And that's one of the growing pains that we've been going through in our business as we've gotten to do more quizzes for people. And we've added the done with you service. You know, I've had to add people onto my team. So we've got an assistant project person. We've got somebody that does, you know, that builds the quizzes. But adding those people on, I had to really make some mind, mindset shifts to expand so that my business just did not include me. Exactly. And that's real bossing of your business. <laughs> that, that's the real level of bossing. That's what bossing is, right? Is it doing, doing, you're not in the business. You're not the bottleneck because that's what it is. Most times oh, yeah. when it's just you doing it, everything, you become the bottleneck of your business. And then by being a bottleneck, you're not even able to scale as quickly or as fast as quickly or as solid as you would be if you get you out of the way, mm -hmm. if you and all your ideas, get you out of the way and actually put people in place to do the work that can do the work. That was a story that I had over the last time. You Absolutely. know, I didn't expect this to grow so fast. You know, and I love having my hands in and doing the work. And then I'm like, I love doing this. However, if I'm gonna scale this, like my goal is to become a seven figure agency. Right. And if I'm going to scale this to get there, I cannot do all the work. Neither do I want to do all the work. So, you know, it required me to redesign some things and rethink some things. And I was honest, it was a little scary, you know, because you're going into this new territory where now you're going to be responsible for bringing on people as a team. And you've got to manage that and you've got to manage relationships. So it added some other skill sets, you know, that I hadn't used in a while since I was doing some management, you know, in corporate. But it's exciting at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. That's so that's that's so much because that that is just all kind of nuggets up in there because what happens is you have to turn a loose you have to turn some things loose and by doing that then you're able actually to go out and have conversations that add to the business to help it to grow like you're doing ceo stuff we, we're in tsp together and we talk about the ten dollar uh, activities versus the ten thousand dollar activities versus the the ceo seven figure activities right and and so i imagine now you've moved all that ten dollar stuff and all that uh, lower end stuff out of the way so now you can do those those ceo type things 
I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you though. But hey, but that's good though. I mean, that is wonderful because I think what you need, what you do is needed in that business owners are out here just just pulling at all kind of low hanging fruit from places they probably don't even need to be in. And so teaching them how to do business and how to do business well, that's an attribute that they'll have that they can use forever. Like it's rinse and repeat. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so that's the thing about the things that you are teaching them. It's not a one time win. Like it's a rinse and repeat and just keep doing what works. Absolutely. And I did the same thing in corporate America where my goal was to work myself out of a job. You know, I'm helping them set up the strategy and the templates. And we always start with strategy so that we have a clear direction and clear goals and know what we're aiming for. But if I'm giving you the strategy for building a quiz, you know, you can now take that and you can do it multiple times. Or if you know that that strategy works for you, you can keep hiring us, you know, and I've got clients that have come back for a second quiz, right? The first one worked so well. Now their business has expanded and now they want quiz number two. Um, but yeah, we absolutely always work um, our, to a place where our clients can be independent if they decide to, or since we do the done for you, if they want to hire our team to continue to build, you know, lead magnets and funnels and quiz funnels for them, we have that kind of arrangement too. Yeah. And see, the thing about it is um, the funnel piece, right? A lot of business aren't even using, fun- don't even know what funnels are. Yeah. And so they don't realize a lot of things that they're doing manually they could drop in a funnel and it would work while they're asleep. Yeah. That's what happened last time with the quiz that I created. Um, it was on, on autopilot and it got to the point, Linda, where I had to actually put a buffer in. Like one month, we got about 60 people that were trying to book calls with us. And I had to put a buffer of instead of having them go to our calendar, I had them go to a webinar first because it just got to be too many people. Right. Yeah. It was on auto, like I would wake up every week, there would be calls on my calendar and I had just set it up once. And just let it run. And that was the best the beauty of marketing automation. That's the beauty of quizzes that are highly interactive and catch people's attention and really having a system that's streamlined. So you can do it. I like to say you can work less and profit more. Ooh, that sounds good. That's tweetable. <laughs> work less, profit more. That is definitely tweetable. Mm-hmm. But th- that's good stuff, though. And that's what this is about. Like, I love being able to introduce business owners to a, a, a bigger way of thinking, because in this day in 2020, you know, to be face to face is is not an ideal situation. Mm-hmm. However, moving your business to an online platform, the world is your oyster. I mean, but you need to know how to just pick and choose because there's a lot out there. Yes, you have access to more people, but you want to have access to the right people that are not only willing to to, to listen to what you're selling, they're also willing to pay you what you're asking, which yeah. is the big part. <laughs> Yeah. And it's more so important right now because a lot of people don't have quizzes yet. Right. Everybody's got a PDF. More people are getting on a bandwagon with webinars. And that's what I say now that quizzes are the new webinar. You know, for a lot of people that are just starting with webinars well, webinars were the jam, you know, four or five years ago where everybody Mm. get online and quizzes were at the beginning of that. And so with everybody needing to move online to, you know, for business, you're going to need a way to stand out to your audience. And so a quiz is one of the best ways to do that because we're narcissistic, right? We like getting information. We like to know about us. <laughs> right? Ask me about <laughs> myself. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I want to know about me. What is my, you know, what is my thing? What is my answer? And so people like that. And so if you're using that technology and you're ahead of the curve, you're going to be in a really good position to generate leads so that you can make more sales. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about. If, if, I mean, a business is trying to make sales. So if you're out here somewhere in the world and you're trying to grow your business, you're trying to scale your business, you're looking for new ways to introduce your product or service to your audience, then this is the way to go. I mean, it just makes common sense. Yeah. It just makes yeah. common sense. And so how can they reach you? Uh, well, we've already mentioned the Funnels Done Right group. All right. And our website is profitmomentum.com. If you want to learn more about the services that we provide, and we actually have a training that's coming up. Can I share the training? Absolutely. Yeah. So if you go to tylikes.com slash quiz webinar, I made it real easy. Tylikes.com and it's T-A-I likes.com forward slash quiz webinar. You'll be able to see the training that we have out there, and it's all of it's um 
um, Quiz and Grow Rich 101. That's the name of the mm -hmm. program that we do is Quiz and Grow Rich. I and like that. Talking about the basics, like what is a quiz funnel? Why does it work? What are the mistakes that people make? Like what are the four different types of quizzes? And it's a free wow. training. And the next date that we're doing it is September 29th. Oh, that's coming up soon. Yeah. That's going to be good. That's going to be really good for those who are looking at how to scale their businesses because marketing is everything. Like if they don't know you're out there, then then you won't. It's not if I build it, they will come. Nobody's coming if they don't know you're out there. So marketing <laughs> is huge for small businesses. Marketing, I cannot say that enough. It's huge. And so having a unique way to put your business up and in front of your customers in a very unique way that get is win-win. It's win to them because they learn something about themselves. It's win for you because you learn something about your customers. I mean, yeah, that's, that's the third one in that. It's a win for your business and bank account because you actually get that's a big win. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a win, win, win. That's a, that's a huge win. Yes. That's a huge win because if you're in business and you're trying to figure out how to get the money, I mean, the the whole law of many. You know, the more people see you, the more people that interact with you, the more people that engage with you, the more likely they're to buy your services and your products. So it, yeah. and it just makes common sense. It just makes common sense. Yeah. And most of our clients have that exact issue. Like they're really good at what they do. They can get results. But the problem is distribution. They're not getting in front enough of the right people. Mm. And they're thinking that there's something wrong with their offer. There's something wrong with their pricing. And I'm like, no, you're just not talking to enough people because you're not getting in front of enough people. And at the end of the day, Linda, if you do not have an audience to sell to, you do not have a business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because customers are why we're here. Because people show up. Yeah. is why we're here. And, mm. and then that's the thing. So it's understanding deeply more about how to do business well like that's that's what the business plug mixer is about it's about having mixers with people like you ty who bring us a fresh idea of how we can grow and scale our business because as of march the guards changed like how we do business period has mm -hmm. totally changed and so if we don't keep up with the change that's why we hear store after store like big box that are just closing because they can't make the pivot. Yeah. If you are a small business, this is a way for you to make the pivot to get out there where more online people can see and appreciate and be drawn to you and your business, like getting to know who you are and getting to know what you offer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Make the mistake of thinking that, well, my project, my product or my service is so good, I don't need to market. And what we have to help people understand, what we do help people understand is that it's a journey. Like I said, people usually don't get married, you know, on the first date. You have to woo them. You have to spend time in your presence. And that's what marketing is all about. And mm -hmm. people, the first time they see your content or offer, they're not going to just buy it in most cases. Absolutely. So how do you connect with them? You have to get them on your email list. You have to build a relationship. You have to offer them something of value so that they remember you and not the 25 other things that are you know, coming in their inbox or they're seeing on Facebook. How are you going to stand out? And we found one of the best ways to do that is with a quiz. Absolutely. Well said. Well said. Because like you said, I mean, there's a lot out here. And so it's important for as a business owner, it's important for you to, to show them something different. It's important mm -hmm. for you to engage with them often. And you were talking about uh, people wanting them to buy on the first, you know, that's like uh, on, uh, on the first date, then we're married tomorrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's not really how it works. But in most cases, the thing about it is five to seven touch, touch points. They want to see you five to seven times before they even consider what, before they notice that, oh, oh well, they're different. Wow. Let me follow them and see what they're bringing to the marketplace. Like it is a romance. Yes. It is a romance more than a speed date. <laughs> yes, that is so true. A lot of us are trying to do that speed date, you know, like speed marketing and get the listen, it doesn't work that way for most of us. You know, it we've got to put some skin in the game. Like you said, those seven to ten touches that people yeah. need. If you like I said, if you don't have an email list where those touches happening, you can pray to the Facebook algorithm gods and hope that they show your content. But if you have them on your email list, you get to control that relationship. We call that a virtual dialogue. Absolutely. Right? So Absolutely. You control that. 
that goes back and forward. And the thing about it, like you can pray, but pray without work still doesn't work. So it still doesn't work. That's only one part of it. So the pray part don't even work. <laughs> so you have to put some work behind that prayer in order to get, if you are out here and you're trying to figure it out, like why? Why are you trying to figure it out? By now, you should already be in her in her Facebook group, right? Funnel's done right. You should already be in the Facebook group. By now, you should already be on the web page again. What is the web page? TyLikes.com forward slash quiz webinar. You should already be there. Like you should already be registering for this upcoming webinar because when I tell you, they pretty much over teach. I mean, they give you so much to go on to that you're going to be implementation is not going to be hard. They break it down into snackable size so that you are able to understand exactly what they're talking about. You have been in a fog because you want to at this point. At this point, you are able to actually go out and get your customers to come find you, to find your service, your product, and to start doing business with you. A month from now, if you do what, what we're talking about, a month from now, you're going to come back and tell me you remember this interview and you're so glad you did what we talked about. That's what that's what it's going to be. I already know because I've experienced it. I've seen it. And so I know how it happens. You're going to want to do this. So by now, if you're following me, you're going to want to put this information down. And just in case you didn't get it, when we're finished, I am actually going to put her links in this in this post on both LinkedIn and on Facebook because you won't have any excuse. Like now it's, it's time to stop talking about it and it's time to actually do it. It's time to jump in and make yeah. it happen. Yes, we call those people discipline. <laughs> yeah, I was saying we call those people discipline wishers, right? They wish, yeah. I wish I had a business. I wish I had a business. I wish I had a business. I come back. Yeah. Oh, the people in America knew I was selling this. <laughs> I know I have a bad product. Right? I know I have a bad product. And if I could get to a number of people, they would buy this because this is a bad product. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's time to stop talking about it, people. Yes. My name is Linda Murray Bullock. They call me the business plug. And today I have just gave you a front row seat to the quiz funnel queen. I had I missed out the funnel part. The <laughs> quiz funnel queen who is right here. If you have questions, go ahead and put your questions in the comments. If we don't get them now, we'll definitely get them back to them. But, but we want you to really engage with this, guys. This is going to be a game changer for you and your business. Like this is going to take you to places that you need to think you'd be able to go sooner than you ever thought you'd get there. That's the thing. But you have to start. You have to be in action. You have to do it today. Like you can't wait and say, okay, that, that is the 29th. I'll sign up the 28th. No, because no, because the early bird catches a worm. <laughs> so if you're ready to stop spending your money, spinning your wheels in the same place, only to be in the same place, you're going to want to hook up with Ty. You're going to want to do that. So last remarks, ma'am. And if you hold on, I'll close us out. Yeah, you know, thank you again for you know introducing me to your audience. Listen, I want to say this. Listen, if your marketing hasn't been working, it's not your fault. You just need to get the right strategy. You need to get the right support and the right tools so that you can make your business work. Don't you know feel like you know a failure and don't be embarrassed about it because a lot of people just don't know how to market. But I'll tell you this: a closed mouth don't get fed. Speak up. Get the help that you need. And, you know, people like Linda, people like myself, we are here to help you build your business so you can generate more leads, you can make more sales, and you can live your best life. It's time to live your best life, y'all. We'll see you next Sunday at 7 o'clock on the Business Plugs Mixer. My name is Linda Murray Bullock. They call me the Business Plug. I just plugged you into quizzes and quiz from the queen. She's right here. So I hope you reach out to her. I'll see you guys next Sunday at 7 o'clock. Have a good evening. Bye.